Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, welcome to another Congos and Coffee. Grab your coffee, your tea, your juice, your water, whatever it is that you want to drink this morning. Um, so, I don't know about you, um, but I'm pretty sure we can all relate to this. Uh, 2020 was a wild year. Um, it was a year of lack of routine, uh, craziness, um, lack of finances, lack of jobs, lack of direction. Um, most of the time, people would ask me what I'm doing and I'm like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out. Uh, yeah, 2020 was a wild year. Now, walking into 2021, can you believe it's been eight days since uh, a new year started? That's crazy, that flew by. But walking into 2021, uh, we're in the middle of a lockdown, uh, still in the middle of a pandemic, and <laughs> there's um, a little bit of lack of direction, uh, even in this year, um, because of we're in such a wild situation. And so when I get stressed out, um, I often will go down this rabbit hole of thinking of all the worst case scenarios and sometimes I can forget to ground myself uh, in our God and, 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 and trust Him through all situations. And so I'm gonna quickly jump into Proverbs 3, uh, verse five and six. I'm reading from the NIV version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. As humans, we naturally will trust something or someone. Uh, sometimes we can trust our finances, our jobs, our education, um, other times we can trust our significant others, our friends, our family, um, or even ourselves. Um, and God is, is reminding and is prompting us uh, to not just trust in the things that are around us, but rather to put our whole heart, our full trust in Him, because He is eternal. Um, he, he loves you more than um, anyone could ever. He has a plan for you and a will for you. And God is reminding us, don't trust in the things that are going to pass away, in the things that are temporary, but trust in me uh, because I have um, a will and a way for you. I will direct your paths. Um, and so in the verse it says, and he will make your path straight. But the bottom of my Bible, it, it says, or he will direct your paths. So when we come back and we trust God, um, in, in, in every day, in every moment, and we invite God in uh, and say, God, I trust you. I need you to direct my path. Um, I don't know how I'm going to pay for rent next month, or um, God, I don't know if I'm going to have a job tomorrow. Uh, whatever it is that your situation says, um, know that you have a trustworthy God on your side, and he's going before you, he's going behind you, and he's going around you. And when we trust in him, when we give him our whole heart, not just part of our trust, but all of our trust, he will direct your paths and direct your life in the will that he has for you. God provides. He loves his children. He loves to give good gifts. And so when we trust him and we actually just, just give him a moment and invite him into our everyday life and our everyday situation. Invite him into your financial situation. Invite him into your relationship with uh, your your best friend or or your your spouse or your family members. Invite God into that and say, God, I can't do it on my own. I don't understand, uh, but I'm going to surrender that and give it to you. God will come in and He will move in your life and in your situation. Uh, so Bethel, be encouraged because when you trust in God. Um, he is worthy to be trusted and he will show up, uh, not in your timing, but in his timing. And his timing is beautiful. Love you, fam. Uh, and Bethel, don't forget, you belong.